Hey everybody, in this video I'll be showcasing 5 games I am very very excited for. I will also have honorable mentions near the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy this special video. I probably won't be making any more of these videos unless it gets a ton of support. Anyways, let's get into the first game on the list. As always, consider subscribing and enjoy the video. Ghost Runner 2 hit me like a rock. I didn't even expect it, and honestly, I thought there wasn't even going to be a sequel to the first game, but I'm really excited for it. Speaking of the first game, I really enjoyed it to be honest. I died a lot, and raged a lot, but genuinely, I really loved the level design and combat. It was really satisfying to just chop your enemies in half. Not to mention, the graphics were amazing too. I even replayed the game a couple of times. The game felt really polished, so I don't really know what they're going to be including in the next Ghost Runner game. I would love to see a longer game though, with more abilities, maybe even a level editor and Steam Workshop support. Maybe even multiplayer? I think that's a stretch. The bosses in the first game were actually sometimes really hard to beat. Personally for me, the boss named Hell was the hardest to beat. There were no checkpoints, so if you died right near the end of the boss fight, you would have to do it all over again. It added to the difficulty though, but it also added to my anger. In the end, I really enjoyed Ghost Runner, and I'll probably end up enjoying Ghost Runner 2 when it comes out. I do have one last complaint though. After playing Ghost Runner and dying so many times, I think I will need to have to go to anger management or therapy. Jokes aside and back on the topic of Ghost Runner 2, I really hope to see some awesome changes and balances in the game. There are no trailers, there's no news, no release date, just nothing. So all we can do is really hope that it's going to be good, or hope we're going to get news soon. Either way, I'll probably end up buying Ghost Runner 2 anyways, or pre-ordering it whenever it comes out. Biomutant is an upcoming open-world post-apocalyptic Kung Fu fighting RPG with a unique combat system. Actually, scratch that. It's just a fully unique game. It really stands out to me and feels very fresh. As I'm recording this video, the game has not come out yet, but I'm really really excited for it. The entire game seems so unique and well made. But who knows, maybe it's really bad. The thing that stands out to me the most is that there's a narrator that narrates your gameplay and you're some sort of weird mutant rat dog cat raccoon thing. The unique crafting system also looks really cool, and I can't wait to see how it works and plays out. This game really reminds me of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think it's just because of the graphics and how colorful everything is. I think I'll really enjoy the game, and I'll most definitely enjoy the crafting system and character creation system. I'll be streaming it over on Twitch when it drops, but who knows, maybe I already did that at the time I posted this video. I'm really interested in seeing how this game plays out and seeing if it gets good reviews on Steam or other places. Personally for me though, I think I'll just enjoy it in general. Sons of the Forest is an upcoming sequel for The Forest. I never finished The Forest, but I do understand the main story and what the goal is in the game. I will probably be finishing The Forest before this game even comes out. Sons of the Forest has some very interesting things that stand out to me too. The main thing that stands out to me is the procedural base building. You can knock out any part of your wall and make a window, or a door probably, and you can place anything, anywhere. I'm also really interested in the 3D printer that's in the bunker. I wonder if we'll be able to create anything we want from there. I also did notice at the beginning of the second trailer, the character is holding a GPS, so no more looking at a map and having to pull out a compass, it's all going to be on one device. No one really knows how development is going on the game, well except for the developers of course but we haven't gotten any trailers or news since December of last year. I don't think it's cancelled or anything, I just think they're trying their hardest to focus on developing the game and making it the best it can be. Like I've said before with Ghost Runner, I'll probably end up buying this game just because I enjoyed the first game. Back for Blood is a zombie shooter being created by Turtle Rock Studios. I played the alpha of Back for Blood and I really really enjoyed it, even though it was pretty short. Pre-orders are available right now for purchase, and I have yet to purchase it. I'll probably actually pre-order it sometime soon. The main difference between Back for Blood and Left 4 Dead is the fact that there are cards that give you modifications in Back for Blood. There is also a thing called the Game Director. It monitors your actions, health, and choices behind the scenes. The Game Director then responds accordingly by changing the environment, adding obstacles, and unleashing special zombie mutations throughout the card system modifiers known as corruption cards. The characters also hold some special abilities, which I find really cool, making it more fun to play multiplayer and choose the best combo of characters and cards. When I was playing the alpha, I really enjoyed how the guns controlled and felt to shoot. 
I don't know if it's going to be in the game or not, but I'd like to see a third person and camera settings to adjust third person view. I really think it would be very cool to see, and I would definitely use it. The game is coming out October 12th, 2021, and I will be definitely enjoying it. Dying Light 2. What can I say, it's Dying Light 2. So much stuff has happened around Dying Light 2, teasers have dropped, and people have been getting really, really hyped. And as I'm recording this video, they actually have dropped a huge teaser, saying that there will be a big event on May 27th at 2pm CST on Techland's Twitch channel. If you don't know who Techland is, those are the people that developed Dying Light 2 and Dying Light 1, along with Dead Island. No one knows what's going to happen on May 27th, but I really want to see a release date. I enjoyed Dying Light a whole bunch. The story, the parkour, and the combat were all very amazing. Who knows, maybe Dying Light 2 will be as big as Cyberpunk 2077, or bigger than it. Let's just hope it's not as buggy and as terrible as Cyberpunk though. I'm just overly excited to play Dying Light 2 and see any news on it at all. I'm also really excited to see the new zombies in Dying Light 2, and to see the new grappling hook, the main two factions of the city, and of course, the parkour and the new storyline. In the end, I'm unbelievably excited for Dying Light 2, not only because I enjoyed Dying Light, but because of all the new stuff it's bringing. I'm also really hyped for the event that's happening on May 27th on Techland's Twitch channel, which I'll probably be streaming if I can. Hopefully it's a release date or new gameplay. I actually heard it could be a demo coming out for everyone to play. Overall, I'm really pumped for this game, and I can't wait to see any gameplay or just news on it, anything really. The honorable mentions for this video are Party Animals, for being one of the games with silly physics like Gang Beast or Human Fall Flat, Vertigo 2 for being the sequel to Vertigo, and for being a great indie VR game, Carlson for being a funny indie parkour game with great dev blogs and just milk, and finally Crab Champions for, well, just being Crab Champions, yay! Anyways, that's about it for this video, let me know if you guys enjoyed it or not. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.